How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Learn With Seb. In this video, I'm going to share some useful chat GPT tips and tricks you should know. This is useful for beginners or anyone wanting to learn more about it. I've been testing it out for a few weeks and can honestly say it's an absolute game changer. You can access it at chat.openai.com and then sign up for an account. So let's get straight into it. Tip one, provide clear prompts. First off, to get the most out of it, you need to provide clear inputs to guide the conversation and limit the scope of the responses. If you provide context, background information and more specific details, you will get more accurate answers. So you can provide specific questions. So instead of writing, what is chat GPT? You could write, what is chat GPT? Explain it like I'm five years old. Or you could say, write a 50 word inspiring poem in the style of Plato. You could also ask ChatGPT itself to provide more detail to prompts. If I'm generating AI art in Canva or Midjourney or something else, I could say provide three detailed AI art prompts to help me generate art about an enchanted futuristic city from the future. Include details about what could be in the picture. Now, once I press enter, ChatGPT will read this sentence and give me a response. I can then use this response and put it into an AI art generator. Tip two, fine tune responses by replying directly. Now, if your first attempt didn't get the response you wanted, you could just reply to the output with more information. So when I said, what is ChatGPT? Explain it like I'm five. I can simply respond, now explain it like I'm 15. Press enter and it will provide a different response. I believe this is better than using the regenerate response button because you are providing specific information about how to regenerate it. Tip three, text generation. You can use ChatGPT as an advanced AI copywriter to help you create content like blog posts or articles. Just prompt it to write a 200 word blog post about 10 easy ways to lose weight for busy parents. Of course, you could say 2000 words if you wanted to. Again, you can ask it to format it how you want. You can also use it to generate blog titles or even blog post ideas before you get it to write a blog post. You could also ask it to generate SEO keywords and include them in the blog post. Tip four, text translations. Chat GPT can also be used for language translations. Just copy in some text and ask it to translate it in another language. So translate the following text into Spanish. And there you go. Tip five, text summarization. ChatGPT can be used to automatically summarize long documents or articles, making it easier for people to quickly understand the main points. Again, copy in a long article and ask it to summarize it for you. You could also do this for emails. I've got some text about orbital mechanics and astrodynamics from Wikipedia. I'm gonna paste that into the text box and I'm gonna say, can you summarize the following text in four bullet points? And there you go, a response is generated. Now it's still a bit complicated. So what I could follow up with is explain it like I'm 15. And then it would simplify the response. This is super helpful for learning new subjects and could change the way we study in the future. Imagine you had a concept you didn't understand. You could ask ChatGPT to explain it to you in different ways. Tip six, answering questions. ChatGPT can be used to answer your questions like a search engine. Ask it anything and it will try to provide an answer. So one question I had is, how do I open a locked door when I left the key in the keyhole on the other side? This is a problem I happen to have recently. I closed the front door on myself and the key was on the other side. I did have a spare key, tried putting it in. Obviously it didn't go in because there was a key in there already. It was a palaver, I'll tell you that. But this is the answer from ChatGPT. Tip seven, generate recipe ideas with limited ingredients. If you're running out of food and need recipe ideas, just ask ChatGPT. I only have two eggs, bread, ketchup, butter, and an apple in my fridge. What can I make? There you go, some recipe ideas for you. Tip eight, write tweets. Following on from the text generation idea, 
you can use it to create Twitter threads. Write a Twitter thread about how to lose weight for busy parents. Keep it concise. Parents don't have time to read. I'm just talking to it like it's a human. As you can see, I now have some social media content that I can post up without thinking. Tip nine, get help with Excel. ChatGPT is also an Excel wizard. Create an Excel formula to delete duplicates from a single column, but keep one instance. This is something I have to do quite often in my line of work. And by asking the question, it will give me the correct process and formula to do this. Tip 10, write HTML. It also knows HTML. So you can ask it to create a HTML table with two columns and four rows, include column headers and sample data in the rows. Make it pretty. I put that in there to see what it would come up with. As you can see, a new box appears and it's writing some HTML code. And at the end, it will give me some CSS styling. You'll notice a copy code button here, which will save you from having to select all and copying it. Tip 11, debug code. Following on from that, ChatGPT can also help you find errors in your HTML. So I can delete a missing trailing slash and ask, my HTML table below doesn't work, what's wrong? It not only found the error, but it also provided me with an updated HTML table that I can use. At the end, it also gave me some further advice about nesting HTML tags. This is useful if you're trying to learn HTML. Tip 12, you can straight up ask ChatGPT to write code for you. You could say, write a Python script to automate renaming image file names in a folder. Once done, it provides an explanation of the code and how to use it. Tip 13, generate business ideas. Want to start your own business but don't know where to start? You can ask ChatGPT, what are 10 online business ideas I can start from home with no skills or experience? Tip 14, get marketing ideas to grow your business. If you need help with marketing, just type in marketing ideas to promote my online fitness classes and it will give you some ideas. Tip 15, write emails. You could say, write a marketing email to welcome people to my online fitness class business and provide benefits why they should sign up for my monthly virtual class. Add benefits in bullet points and a call to action at the end. Tip 16, write ad copy. Write Facebook ad copy to promote my virtual fitness class. Make it inspirational. As you can see, it gives you some ad copy that you can use straight away or customize to your liking. Tip 17, write a resignation letter. Want to quit your job but stuck for words? Let ChatGPT do it for you. Write a 100 word resignation letter, keep it professional and sincere, and there you go. Tip 18, ask for a raise. Alternatively, if you love your job and want more money, type in what is the best way to ask for a raise? Give me some sample phrases I could use. Tip 19, write business plans. You could say, write a business plan for an e-commerce store selling used toys. 10% goes to charity. Of course, you could do this for any business idea. As you can see, it gives you an executive summary, a business description, and some market analysis. Although you would have to fact check this information. However, this is a good starting block for your business plan. Tip 20, generate YouTube video ideas. If you want to make YouTube videos like this, you can ask ChatGPT to generate YouTube video ideas. So here's an example of a prompt, generate YouTube video ideas about fitness routines at home in 10 minutes. You can also take this a step further and ask them to write a YouTube video script or YouTube video descriptions. Finally, Tip 21, travel recommendations. If you need a holiday after all that work, asking AI to do the work you're supposed to be doing, well, you can ask ChatGPT about the best holiday destinations within a four hour flight from London or things to do in Scotland while on holiday. It will give you some recommendations. There you go, 21 ways to use ChatGPT in 10 minutes. Let me know in the comments how you would use it. And if you like this style of video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.